At the very beginning of the universe, particles had no mass. But less than a picosecond after the Big Bang, something happened, and those particles started to gain their masses. And after that, the whole universe, and eventually life itself, began to emerge. It was a fundamental field that was responsible for this something, and the field was associated with the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is a wave in the Higgs field, just like the light waves in an electromagnetic field. Particles interact with the Higgs field to get their mass. In order to get heavier mass, particles need to interact with the Higgs field more. The Higgs boson is named after British theoretical physicist Peter Higgs. He published a paper in 1964 along with Brout and Angler, explaining the brout angler higgs mechanism in which a scalar field gives particles mass. In elementary particle physics, we have an established theory that provides a complete description of the particles and their interactions, and it's called the standard model. The standard model has been very successful in providing accurate predictions for essentially all particle physics experiments carried out so far. Since it was proposed in 1964, the Higgs boson has remained the final missing particle of the standard model. Any proof that the Higgs field did not exist implies that the standard model was incorrect. The Higgs boson can be created in a particle collision and once produced, decays to the heaviest allowed elementary particle that can be detected in particle detectors. But our particle collision technology was not good enough to detect these particles, and we had to wait until 2008 for CERN to build the Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. An LHCB, ALICE, ATLAS, and CMS were the four big particle detectors located in specific points of the Large Hadron Collider. And at last, in July 2012, after years of experiments at CERN, ATLAS and CMS scientists announced that the Higgs boson has been observed at a mass of around 125 giga electron volts. At this energy level, the Higgs boson decays dominantly into a bottom quark and its antiquark. This channel experimentally is very difficult to observe. In fact, the discovery comes through the gamma-gamma decay. The CMS experiment has observed the Higgs boson in numerous fermionic and bosonic decay channels, established its spin parity quantum numbers, determined its mass, and measured its production cross-section in various modes. Just after this experiment, the CMS collaboration published a paper. In this paper, the group was announcing their discovery as follows. The decay of two photons indicated that the new particle is a boson with a spin different from one. The results presented here are consistent, within uncertainties, with expectations for the standard model Higgs boson. So one of the main goals of the LHC, the discovery of the last missing piece of the standard model periodic table, namely the Higgs boson, has been achieved. This discovery of the Higgs boson is a huge milestone in physics, and it only happened through the collaboration of scientists all around the world. And Metu professors Mehmet Zeyrek, Altu Özpineci, Tahma Sib Aliyev, Ali Murat Güler, Maltem Serin, and Ramazan Sevar were among those involved in the CMS collaboration. Professor Mehmet Zeyrek and his colleagues contributed to the process of this discovery within the CMS collaboration in multiple ways carrying out phenomenological studies of Higgs boson production and detection before the start of the LHC, calibration of the calorimeters, including the Hadron forward calorimeter of CMS, which is vital to the improvement of the reconstruction of Higgs boson decays and to the distinguishing of the production modes, as well as contribution to the central data taking activities, which allowed to accumulate the necessary statistics. 10 years have passed since the discovery. But all scientists at CERN are working harder every day, as though the journey has only just begun.